Welcome back to Game Through from HorribleNight.com. I'm Justin Lacey. Uh, it's been a little while since we played The Wolf Among Us, but finally episode two is here. Smoke and mirrors, and uh, we're going to see if we can't blow through this game with a live audience all in one sitting. Wish us luck. Here we go. Mr. Toad? Do something, Bigby, before he completely tears up the place. Just kidding. Whoa, 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 hey, hey! You've got something on like, your face. It's playing episode Fuck one again. It's the recap. About you stupid <laughs> Good. Ah! You're not as bad you remember as this? says you are. Please, Bigby. Promise me you won't tell Beast you saw me. I feel like it's missing like a little bit of a voiceover. Thank you. Here's a bunch of cutscenes. Trusting me. Have you seen my wife? Have you seen Beauty? I didn't I'm staying wife. out of it. Wait. Out of what? Come with me. Oh, Snow. Son of a whore. Don't interrupt me, Miss Snow. You asked me a question. Don't change the subject. You are to blame for this unpleasantness, Miss Snow. I don't like that version. Oh, no. I'm D. He's dumb. But he said if word of this ever got back to him, if he ever thought you knew, or Miss White, he'd come back and kill my boy. I'm looking for the woodsman. Well, he's not here. Ollie, you're out of paper towels and... She's a liar. They're gonna string me up, baby. Like you said, it looks fucking bad. It looks really bad, but I didn't do it. All right. I got a hundred bucks right. for the first bloke that can tell me something about a girl name. Fuck, man! This fucking lab name. Come sniffing around this part. Rich fucks in the woods. Need you to be that right, big B? Now things are worse off than they've ever been. Well, that's not true. Right. We've had it worse, but not by much. Damn! Dude, it's just a picture, man. It was more dramatic when you were there. You're making this more difficult than it has to be. If you just cooperate and answer the questions, you can go home. Maybe get some sleep. How are you feeling? I'm a cop, you idiot. I know it's been a long night for you. You look like you could use some rest. I'm hunky-dory. Thanks for asking. There's no need to get aggressive. I'm trying to help you. That wasn't aggression, that was sarcasm. Look, I know what you must be going through. Really? really? I do. But I could use your cooperation. Oh, I hate <laughs> you to just say hit it. smoke. I don't it. think you do. I was gonna smoke anyway. Of course. You're you're right. I can't imagine what you're going through right now. Why are you filming me? Cops, man. What is it with you cops? <laughs> Always trying to empathize with people. I know this must be hard for you. Do, Do you? you? Do you <laughs> fucking know? <laughs> you had a friend killed and their head left at your fucking doorstep? Yes? No. I didn't think so. Some bitch. Your nose is bleeding. That's totally normal. <laughs> it always raises an eyebrow. You look you nuts. You look nuts right now. You realize <laughs> that, right? It's kind of hard to take this seriously with that. I all really over don't your know face. how I want to play Big B. I'm just Weird. reacting. You usually go with the funny lines. Like. I'm Detective Brannigan. Uh, yeah, I know. I just said that. Is there something? Did you hear that? Please. Please. Don't 
Don't kill yourself with a pen. Don't do it. Don't do a magic trick. I'm sorry. Oh. Just make it stop, please. That's what happens when you say the magic words, hunky dory. Aw, Ichafog, you now. dick. What did you do to her? She'll be fine. Uh-huh. It's just a memory wipe spell. Very expensive, but it works. Oh. The whole station will forget the last 24 hours. And everything they saw that at the Woodlands. That might have been a useful trick. Well, hurry up. Didn't have to make her nose bleed, though. That's not very, you know, endearing to her character. She doesn't deserve that. That's what we'll, we'll remember her as Bleeding Nose Girl. She's probably a really good police officer. Or, well, excuse me, detective. Now her... She'll just wake up and wonder where the nosebleed came from. She never gets nosebleeds. She'll know something happened if she's woke up. And that'll be episode three. Sure, you can drive. <laughs> he better. We um, douche. we found Tweedledee chained up to a post. That was your doing, correct? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't know why you detained him. He was at the trip trap when Snow was left at the woodlands, so he couldn't possibly be involved in this mayhem. Perhaps I was investigating something else. Bluebeard's currently interrogating him. And he hasn't said anything useful. He's working for somebody. And whoever it is wants him snooping around every crime scene I've looked at. That doesn't necessarily mean they're involved in the murders. Get with it, Crane. Will you be next? The bus wants to know. I know what you're thinking, Big B. It's been one full night and a slice of morning, and I already miss her too. Dude, you're gross. Ichabod Crane never gets the girl. Especially old ass Ichabod Crane. I, know. I never get more homesick than when one of us dies. And now, for it to be snow, I've never been good with these sorts of things. I just can't believe this is really happening. Dwelling on this shit isn't helping. Nah, that's not what well, I meant. I apologize if my Listen attempt to him doesn't help. has disturbed you, Bigby. But I thought we had some common ground. Let's get something straight here, all right? We have exactly nothing in common. Everything that connects us is dead and gone. I like snow. I just don't like Crane. That's the angle I was going for. I don't know why I'm asking you, but did she give any indication as to what she was thinking? When you saw her last, I mean. I don't know. It's been months ago. I don't know why, but I'd like to know that she was... I guess fine, I suppose. <laughs> she could come off as callous sometimes, but she wasn't really. She said that she wanted to change things. Make it easier for Fables to get help when they need it. Yeah, you were a shitty boss. I don't know what else to say, Big B. We have to have to put an end to this. Just then stop talking and let me out of the car. It's been two murders escort. in as many days. If we don't unearth our culprit and soon, there will likely be another on our doorstep tonight. I'll get it done. Please, Big B. For Miss White. I sure. got it. Yeah. Big bad door slammer. Hey, achievement unlocked. <laughs> you made it through the first cutscene of episode That's two. That's not a very good answer, is it? Come on, just tell me what I want to know. It will make things a lot less painful for you, in theory. Oh, were you planning on using that? Oh. I just thought you really liked rubbing your little sword. <laughs> what the hell do you think you're doing? Hello, Ichabod. Sheriff. Ichabod Blue Sheriff. Beard. I was just chatting with our new friend. You were supposed to wait for us to get back. I told you, if you want to be involved, you will do things my way. No violence! Whoa. You said that aggressively. 
Whatever you say, Ichabod. Hello, Big B. Hello. I want answers, D. Oh, goody. I thought you wanted questions, and I was having so much trouble thinking of any good ones. Though I'd settled on, how's your head? You see what I've been dealing with? What are you going to do about this, Bigby? Shh. Do you think this is a joke? Snow White is dead. Look, I didn't kill anyone. And I'm supposed to just believe you. You were with me when it happened, dummy. I still have questions for you, D. Sounds like a personal problem. This is ridiculous. Let him work. He's got more experience with these kinds of things. Why were you at Toad's place? Looking for a change of scenery. Liar. Thought I might move in. Had to take a look around first, of course. Shut your face. <laughs> Bluebeard smile. All right, D. Let's get to know each other. Scowl. Oh, I'll just punch him. Oh, fuck! Ooh, bloody nose. So, this is how it's gonna be. Just tell me what you were doing at Toad's place. I can't tell you, and pushing me around isn't gonna change that. My brother and I work hard, and we keep our mouths Boom. shut. That's the deal. I forgot about your brother. Dumb, right? How appropriate. Like there was your there. brother last night. Are you accusing him of something? No. What do you think? It's completely unrelated. He didn't do it, if that's what you're getting at. He didn't kill her. You have no fucking right to keep me here. You have no evidence. Give me my stuff and let me go. What did you find on her? Oh, uh, nothing of consequence. You're really. a liar, Crane. Crane! Or, I mean, thanks for showing me the cigar and the money. What's that? Are we gonna you have to let me go sometime. You can't keep me here. Oh my god, I could hit him with a whiskey bottle. You Still. always carry this much cash. I don't like banks. So what? I don't want to steal with his money. I'll play that way. So where's your brother? Look, mate, Dude. I'd like to help. I would, but I can't tell you where he is. Last time I saw him, we split up, and I went to find Faith. I don't know where he is now, but he didn't kill anybody. Just leave him out of this. You were looking for Faith? Look, I went to her apartment. That's no secret. You saw me. No, there's more to it. You said you were trying to find something. No. All right, D. What did you want again? from Faith? Sorry, I can't Salvation. help Salvation. I'm not saying any more about it. Can I punch him again? Keep pushing him. I don't know. Show him the photo. Okay. <laughs> I don't want to see that shit! Just put that away! Don't make me look at that! Snow was murdered, D. She was... important to me. Really? If you I'm sorry, I'm did it. this, you have to tell me. I don't know what to tell you. You're barking up the wrong tree. I don't know who did it! Hmm. What did you want from Faith? I didn't want shit from that little thief! More trouble than she's worth. Punch him again, punch him again, punch him again. the same about you. Oh yeah? Untie me and see how much trouble I am. That's enough. So she stole something from you and you tried to get revenge. Is that it? You think you're so fucking slick. She didn't take anything of mine. She didn't? She stole from my boss. Who's you think I boss? got anything worth stealing? Angela. Your boss. So let's talk about your boss, then. Come on, D. It's clear you're just following orders. So who's calling the shots? No! The I'm walrus. fucking done! Let's see, what's that? Fuck you, Big B! I really want to punch me in. Take a smoke. Oh, what is it? What's it? I like it when Big B I'm does what I want to that. do without me having to trigger it. Here. 
You punch up my fucking face, and now you want to be best friends? No fucking way! You're out of your mind! Look, things got out of hand. That's not what I meant. We're past it now. I meant won't happen again. I won't be nice again. Unbelievable. Yeah, all right. Turn it around and burn him on the chip. Want to see a trick? <clears throat> Look at the... Why don't you just tell me who you're working Damn for? it. Look, you're not a bad guy, despite what beauty says about you. At least you're not a total bastard anyway. But I just can't give you that information. There's oh, no way beauty would associate now. with a scumbag like you. What's wrong with me? You're telling me I ain't pretty enough? You're full of shit. Oh, we're good friends. That's enough. I will not tolerate this savagery. Hey, you think someone was trying to kill Snow? Isn't it more likely someone was trying to get back at you by killing her? Fuck you! <laughs> Don't put this on me! <laughs> What's going on down here? Violence? What the shit? Um... Welcome to episode two. Take care of the smoke. I don't want to talk to the mirror. He's kind of a dick. Cops, man. Well, I guess he's a security guard. Not really a cop. So he can do that. She's what the hell was going on down there, Bigby? I was, um, I was... Abusing uh, a prisoner like that. I thought you were dead, Snow. And that makes it okay? Yeah. 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 Goddamn big bad wolf. <laughs> I hope it was worth your time. Dude. How are you not dead? Okay, you, you're gonna have to explain this, because I'm really not getting it yet. After our conversation in the taxi last night, I got a call from Toad. He said his son found a body. We thought it was Faith at the time. Getting her back here wasn't easy, but hopefully we'll find something on her to help us track down the killer. Or, at least to figure out who she is, if it's not Faith's body. I should have been there, Snow. I tried calling the business office, but there was no answer. I couldn't find you, or anyone, so I took care of it. Hmm. Snow? What is it? Are you gonna be okay? I mean, uh, with all that's happened. I'll be fine. I just really want to get to the bottom of this. I just feel like. What is it? I just. I feel responsible in a way. She looked just like me. That was kind of weird. And maybe that's why she was killed. No, it's not your fault. But she See, looked just compassionate. like me. That can't be a coincidence. I think. We just Unless have I get to, find to punch Tweedledum and Tweedledee again. And why she was glamoured to look like me. Oh, I mean, man. that's what it is, right? So, <laughs> what's our next move? <laughs> we just keep doing what we've been doing. We do our jobs. And I'm supposed to do what? Sit around the business office twiddling my thumbs, waiting for the big bad wolf to solve all my problems? That's not what I meant. Well, then what did you mean? I told you, I'm tired of sitting around. I didn't... I'm not going to be an errand girl for Crane anymore. I just want you to be careful. I almost lost you once. I'm and... not yours to lose. 
Oh. He should like I'm sorry. whine like a puppy. In those instances. I know it's dangerous, but I'm not helpless. I can take care of myself. Okay, God. Ah. I've been doing it for centuries. Ooh, we're all old. TJ's Snow. waiting inside. That's not impressive. He was so freaked out last night, he wouldn't tell us much. Even now, he just stops talking altogether after a certain point. He's pretty shaken up, though, so try not to be too, you know. <laughs> Myself. I love it! Just sometimes right. they have the exact answer I want. <laughs> it's funnier when it's curse words, and it's exactly what I want.